Welcome back everyone. In the previous video, we learned about how to display the post title uh, onto your React front-end application and we accessed all of this data with the help of the custom endpoint that we created uh, and we got all of the post data and we displaying the title and in this video, we'll continue further and display the image, uh, categories, etc. Okay, so let's do the image now. So it's going to be featured image. So we're going to check. So if you have a look in the network, inside of the post data, you have attachment image. Okay, so it, it will be if post dot attachment image dot if it has image sizes image sizes then we are going to create a component called featured image to display the image so let's do that name it as featured image import react from react const featured image return let's just return div for now export default featured image and let's just import it here so I'm going to use it so featured image and let's pass the image details so image details is going to be post or attachment image so if we check attachment image has got all of the image information like size source and source set okay so that's going to be like that if not then just return empty nothing nothing at all okay Now featured image is going to take props. Oops. Props. And I'm just going to pull all of this data, which is image sizes, image source, image source set from props dot image. Sorry, attachment image. I think that's, that's what we passed over here. No, we passed image actually. Okay, so prop start image. And then we're just gonna return the image, image tag. And let's give it a width. So width is going to be whatever width we have here. Okay, so, so we have the width zero, one, so in the width is the uh, second element, okay, with an index of first. So we'll just put that there. So image source, and there's the first element, sorry, the uh, second element with index of one. So that's a width, height. Height will be again, image source and then index two, and then we need the source. We can break it down on a different line. So we have source. Source is going to be image source. Oops. image source zeroth element image source is here this one okay and then the alt alt ideally should be the post title okay um, 
or if we have the alt available we could you know uh, add that information into our custom endpoint that we have created but for now let's just use the post title so I'm just going to pass title over here and just say post dot title okay and over here again we'll pull that information title in fact title from props and then we can just use that in alt okay we also need the source set so source set the source set we're going to check if we have got the image source set available if we do then we're just going to use that otherwise it'll be empty so this is the image source set that's it. Let's have a look if we are getting what we need. Awesome. So we have the image being displayed. Of course, and the, it's not being styled properly. But yes, you can see that we are starting to get the image now. Okay. Awesome. And then we can also add some class names. Class name. You can give it a class attachment post thumbnail and then whatever classes you want to give like you can give that okay awesome great uh, the next thing we do is basically we want the excerpt so we'll close the featured image we get the excerpt excerpt and for that, we'll just check if we've got the post dot excerpt. Then we can have a p tag with the class name of post excerpt. And let's give it a margin top. And then inside of this, we can have post excerpt post dot excerpt okay so if you have a look so you've got the excerpt now awesome what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly pause the video and add some styles so it looks better uh, of course this is not a CSS tutorial so you can add styles as per your needs but just so that it looks better I'm just going to add some CSS okay so just pause the video and add that you can always take the CSS uh, from the git repository so you can just go over here and, okay and then if you go to source there's the style.css you can stay, take all the CSS from here if you want or you can write it on your own as well okay so I'm just going to pause it and add the CSS okay I've added some style Let, let's just give this a class name as well so class name post title now let's have a look after I've added the style loading there you go looks much better awesome great now the next thing we need to do is we've got the excerpt uh, we need the post meta information so we need post meta and let's create a div give it a class name of post meta and let's get the author first so author a tag in fact this should be link and not a tag link Okay, and this should go to two slash author. Of course, we have not created 
uh, the author page yet but whenever we do create that's where it should go idly and we should also pass an author id so post.meta dot author id okay and let's give it a class name and let's give it a class name of post author okay and let's give it an icon so we already using the font awesome so i'm just going to give bar bar user so i get a user icon and this should be self closing tag since there is no content inside of it span tag post dot meta dot author name but well, if we check our rest api uh, results you can see that we have got the author name and the author id in the meta and that's what we're trying to get awesome let's see how that looks there you go you got the author name great brilliant next thing we need is the date when this post was published so i'm looking for date again div with the class name of post date and this is going to have again an icon so i'm just going to reuse this just copy it paste it and this is going to be a clock oh and this is going to be post date okay let's see how that looks loading awesome you've got the date as well but the icon for some reason is not showing okay this is oh no it's zero okay so that should work great we've got the date showing as well published date next thing we need is um the categories so categories and we're going to check if our categories has got the data so this is the category okay so we'll say post dot categories dot length so which means if it's got if this array has got any items inside of it then in that case I'm going to loop through it otherwise just return empty okay so we'll say div with a class of post category again we will go ahead and put the icon and this icon would be for folder and inside of this we can loop through it we can say post.categories.map and then we're going to take two things first is the category and second is the index okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to return in fact we instead of writing like this we can just directly return like this using the round brackets okay so we're going to check if it's not the last item because we're going to separate the categories with a comma and if it's the last item then it should not have a comma after it right because there could be many categories so let's just say link to again this should go to our archive page which we will create in future but we can link it for now okay so we'll say category and then we want category dot term id because that's where we have the id for the category it should go to that page right and inside of this link we can have category dot name okay 
and since we are looping through it we also need to put a key to it so key would be category dot name so same thing and let's give it a yeah that should be it and then so we should check information if it's not a last item so we should add a condition over here that would say if index is not equal to um, post dot categories dot length which means whatever the uh, number of items are there in the array um, it should not be yeah it should not be uh, equal to that okay uh, then in that case that would mean that it's not the last item right so we can do question mark put this link else put another link uh, and here we need to give a comma and then space okay just copy the same thing but this time we won't give a comma because this would be the last item okay so if it's not the last item then put a comma else don't put a comma at the end right that's what we're doing over here so I think that should be it let's try it okay I think we have missed something categories yep Let's check loading. There you go. Uh, but actually, categories are length minus one. Why? Because it's an index that we're dealing with. So we have to subtract mine, uh, subtract uh, one from that. Okay. Let's have a look. Awesome. So you've got news. Here we've got books, movies, news, and the last item. We don't have a comma, right? We don't have a comma on the last item. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Brilliant all works great so congratulations people we have got uh, all of our posts being displayed with the title with the featured image and the excerpt uh, as well as the author name the date when it was published and the categories as well so it's half battle one all we have to do is just create the pagination now and we're done we're good to go okay so i'm going to start that in the next video so I hope you did like the video. If you did, please, please give a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Uh, do follow me on GitHub. Uh, my GitHub handle is um, Imran Sayyad. Okay, so you can go over here. And you can also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Imran Sayyad as well. And if you want to learn more, uh, you can learn. You have got lots of free courses available on my site, which is codytech.com. So you can check this out. Awesome then. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.